we are back. Um, so, once again, to recap, we see uh, a bunch of shambling peoples, uh, a crazy manic dude in front of a giant stone slab waving his arms around crazy, and a couple dozen uh, archer cultists running across the rooftops towards you guys. Great. So are we like right in the middle? Yep. And there's all the maroon robes on the roof, he said, and there's the, the person in front of a stone slab with yep. its arms. Yep. Can I do like a, would it be a perception check on the guy with the, near the stone slab to see if I can figure out like what you have to, what You're going to have to roll really well. He's pretty far away. Can I try it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Go for it. You're going to have to roll really well. Okay. 23. That's well enough. Yes. Um, he is wearing maroon robes as well. They look very decorative, though. Um, it doesn't look like, at least from what you can see, that he's wearing anything else but that. But, like, if anybody's going to be the head honcho, it's probably this guy. Because they look and like he... ceremonial. So he's <clears throat> muttering some, like, some, You like, can't um, see, though. Because you can't really see who or what he is. Because he's not facing you. <clears throat> But so he seems like just, he's in charge. Oh, yeah. J judging by his dress, he looks way nicer than everyone. His garb. All right, I tell everyone, that's, that's the head guy right there. With the stone. All right, the, the oh, lovely, right. The lovely uh, raven woman looks at you guys and says, I will take the guys on the rooftop if you take the people in front. All right. Is that cool with everybody? <clears throat> Wait, there's, there's, is there more people in front than just that one guy waving his arms? There's the shambling people. The zombie people? Oh, okay. Like, like the villagers? Okay. All right, we got to do, we got to do right? All right. So you see a beautiful puff of blue, dark blue smoke uh, in front of you. The woman disappears and appears on top of the building and starts charging for... The, ha the two dozen archers. She's going to try to take them out by herself. Um, and you see some shambling people. They start to notice you. And there's kind of one that's moving like by itself. And there's a group of three moving. And they're both moving towards you. The shamblers? Yes. I'm just going to well, whenever we have to roll an attack. I just want to know what you guys are doing, that's all. Yeah, I mean, I like, they're go. villagers, right? Is where we can just, like, are they super slow, like, super zombies? We just, like, they're, they're shambling. They're slow. They're not chasing. Just, like, I'm going to go straight for the guy to waving to the his arms. Guy? You're going gonna, like, you're gonna, you're, you're to cut... Wait, one, sorry. You're going to cut through the zombies? Well, I didn't know if we could just, like, avoid them if they were that slow. Well, <laughs> they're going to catch up to us by the time we start get, fighting. Get to the head man? Yeah. I don't know how slow so what's so going on? To attack them then. <laughs> what do you think, Ludo? I'm gonna go straight for the guy waving his arms. I'm not even gonna bother attacking these zombies. Yeah, or the like, shambling people. Run past them, right? Yeah, if I can avoid him, I will. But if I if one gets in my way, I'm just gonna try to push him or something instead of attacking him. All right, so I guess we're all just like yeah. going full force toward Wiggly Arm Man. Okay. I'm gonna try how not far, to hurt how them. How far away? Can we? <laughs> yeah. Um, he is a good like 60 feet. Can I do an Arcana check? To Actually, see no. We're, I'm sorry. One second. We're gonna say we're gonna say 80 feet away. Oh. We're really far. You wanna get closer before we do an Arcana check? I wanna do it on the Shamblers. Oh, on the Shamblers. You're gonna have to do a Religion check. Religion check? Even better. Yeah. Instead of getting a minus one, I get a minus one. Seven. They look like villagers. I'm gonna do a Religion check then. Cool. Also. 20. Um, those bitches be zombies. They're basic run-of-the-mill zombies. You've, you've read about them before. They're not very strong, not very powerful. Their flesh is melting off their body, so probably not much defense on them. They're just... Zombies. Of the slow variety. Yeah, slow. I tell them. 
So can we just like? Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just want to make sure we're, you guys are just gonna start going for the cloaked guy. Going for Wiggly Arm Man, yeah. Cool. All in favor? So when they stop being zombies, they start being dead. They don't go to back to being villagers, right? Correct. They are dead and done. They're yeah, dead. That was him. <laughs> cool. All right. So you guys are gonna start running. Yeah. Yep. Right. Okay. Yep. So you guys are starting to get closer. Um. You, the zombies start to kind of funnel and get close to you. I want you all to roll a strength check. Uh, I don't have advantage, right? Correct. No one has advantage. Okay. You said it last time. I wasn't sure if it was an ability I had or just because. God damn it. It can't, it can't be worse than mine. All right. Uh, Ludo. Six. Okay, so you push past the zombie, uh, and he slashes at you. Take two damage, but you get past uh, him. All right. Uh, Groden. Ten. You push the zombie away, and you're fine. Naru. Eight. You push the zombie, and as you push, he lashes out at you for two damage. Okay. All right, and you guys continue forward until you... I'm going to say you guys, if you want, just to stop 30 feet away from the altar. Is, or, or you just want to go right up. Is there a rooftop within 30 feet of the altar? Yeah, but you're going to have to, like, go up to it and then make a six, some really dope-ass, like, climbing checks. Acrobatic? To get out there. Probably. To get up there. I'm going, I'm going to attempt it. Uh, given that there's no cultists on the top. Oh, they're up there. Okay, then I'm not going to go up there. Okay. Uh, anybody so else going to do anything real quick before... Ha have we stopped 30 feet no, from the altar? I, technically, you guys are still running towards the altar. I'm going to charge the dude. That's what I'm going to do. I'm uh, gonna. Can I can I stop ten feet away from the altar? Sure. So as you guys, well, I'm just gonna say you guys are running towards the altar. Um, as you guys start to get about thirty feet towards the altar, uh, the figure turns around. Um, <gasps> let's get a let's get a sexy little picture of it here. Is he gross? Ew! What's that hand? Did um, you all see this crotch hand? <laughs> All right, so as you uh, charge ahead, you get closer to the giant stone. It appears to be a large altar with blood and the black ooze that you've been stepping in, like, dripping off of it. As you get closer, the person turns around. And sorry, I couldn't find him with a red cloak, so he's going to have brown. But he has, a, he has a maroon cloak, and you see it's an orc. Orc has green skin with a slight underbite. He's a, he's a lot less bulky than, like most orcs you've seen. He looks very, very skinny. And he smiles and he looks towards you guys and goes, Welcome! Welcome, Ew. everyone, to my new domain. <laughs> I'm glad you're all here to bear witness to the glory that is to come. Have you all come to offer your bodies and souls to the true God? He is the one... Now. He is the one that'll save us all. He's young this as you're running towards him. You're getting closer, don't worry. And you run right up the altar. And I want everybody to roll initiative real quick. Ooh. Hey man, the bad guy has to have his his monologue, so shut up. I have to interrupt it. <laughs> Alright, um, Ludo. Six. <gasps> Me too! Yay! Alright, so Nara goes first. <laughs> Groden. 16. Woo! Alright, at least somebody's up on the list. Nice. <laughs> um. Alright. So, Groden, you are up first. This man is this this orc man is giving you the standard evil villain monologue. 
How far away did we stop from him? You guys are about 20 feet. 20 feet. We did not take a rest, so I can't use lightning breath. Correct. I'm gonna shoot my bow at him. Cool. Roll me some shit. I just wanna know where to go at. Please don't roll shit. Roll awesome. <laughs> Crit fail. Crit yep. fail. You know, in the old in the, in the old D and D games, they used to make something bad happen. But I think the shame. <laughs> I think the shame is enough. The shame. The, the is shame enough. is plenty. All right. Now that you are all done, the orc man is going to take his skull staff, slam it on the ground, and I want everyone to roll a perception check. Oh! Eighteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. So you guys all notice this as you, as he stamps the ground. You feel like a tremor go through you, zips past you, Man. and hits all of these zombies that were behind you. They all kind of snap to life, and they start to like crack and move around, and you see they're moving very fast. And they're like, their bodies are warming up. They're basically stretching. Great. Oh, boy. Um, and his turn is over. And by the way, these zombies are about 40 feet away from you. So we have some time. And zombie one is going to crouch oh. down into a running stance and dart at you. So we don't have time. Zombie number two is going to get in a running stance and dart no at you. <laughs> zombie number three is going to get into a running stance and dart at you. And zombie number four, he's going to take a couple steps, get into a running stance, and dart towards you guys. So... That's is that the only amount of zombies that's coming towards us, or the other ones just still warming up? So you have this lovely orc and four zombies charging at you. No, these are the ones that you guys walked past earlier. Is he lovely though? Yes, to me he is. Is he though? Yes. Okay, so um, how far away from us are the zombies? Um, by the time they're done with their movements, they are now ten feet away from you guys. Okay. Um, and it is now Naru's turn. Okay. Um, I'm... Um, hey, Naru, now that you see these guys, do you mind rolling me another uh, religion check? Sure. 18. 18? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can, we, can you botch that? I would like you to roll a, uh, a medicine check. Okay, a medicine check. 15. All right, as you can see, like, they're decaying lungs and all that stuff. Um, you kind of learn that poison might not be the best sort of attack to attack these guys with. Oh, I'm going to thunderclap their butts. Okay. <laughs> thunderclap them together. All right, but Naro, it is your turn. So they're, they're 10 feet away from me? Yep. And Ludo and... Grodin. And I almost call them Gorgon. They are all they're next not, to you, pretty much. They're next to me? Yeah. But they're not in the way if I nope. shoot the thunder. Okay, so it's going to target, target each creature in a 15-foot cube. So I'll get them all, right? Yes, yes. What? Get them. He has to wake the zombies up. He slaps his... Skull clapper on the ground. Oh, okay. I thought there was like a hundred more. Questioning me. I just want to make sure. Well, okay, either I'm going to get rid of them or they're all going to attack us on the next turn. Go for it. Gosh, that's how it works, right, Eric? He slaps his thunder skull on the ground and that's what we cut the zombies. We Didn't we all see that? Oh, my they, goodness. Well, here's the thing. From your analysis, they weren't like this before. Until he did the little slammy slam. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to make my decision. Go for it. Do it. No, now I'm wondering if I should just attack the man. If he's the one that's going to keep waking up the zombies. 
No, there aren't there's... any. There aren't any more zombies. He just gave them like. Oh, I thought there were hundreds just... more walking around. No, I said there was like four. Oh, okay. See, I... okay, I'm gonna do what I want to do. Shh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, thunder wave on the zombies. So each zombie has to roll against my wisdom, which is thirteen. Okay, zombie number one. Oh, thank God they're zombies. This zombie got a negative one. Okay, do each damage individually? Actually, sorry, roll your damage right now. Just roll your damage. Okay. Okay, so each zombie is going to take eight damage if they Ooh, fail. Not bad. And they're going to take four damage if they succeed. Cool. Okay, so the first zombie gets hit. Takes eight damage, you said? Yes. Cool, he is still, he is still kicking. Like he has been, like, you would assume from this thunderclap that if they were in their slower state, they probably would have just fallen to pieces. Exploded. Yeah. Uh, zombie number two, would I have to beat 13? Yes. Wow, thank you negative modifiers. It is 12. Okay. So another eight damage. Zombie number three. Those negative bonifiers again takes another. The next guy takes eight damage, and the last zombie negative one as well. So he takes eight damage. Okay, and they all get pushed ten feet away. Cool. So they get pushed ten feet back. Yes, and a thunderous boom is heard up to three hundred feet away. Oh, everybody heard that boom. Don't you worry. Okay. You just told me I had to make sure I told you every time I used it. I know. Thank you. I appreciate it. And then any unsecured objects in the area have also been pushed 10 feet. All right. So just gloop and shit has just been flung down the street. Yeah. Everywhere. Cool. Oh, I lost my clogs. All right. You're all set, I'm guessing, because that was pretty dope. Um... Can... Would it be an arc arcana, arcana check on the um, wiggly finger guy to see kind of like, I mean, do we have everything we need to know about him? Do we know what he's doing up there? Like, Oh, he's, he's doing some sort of blood ritual. Blood ritual. Blood okay. and that black goop. Okay, then I guess I'm all done. Cool. Uh, Ludo, you're up. All right. We close to that guy. I charged him, right? Or the zombies in you're, the you're 20 feet. Is. You're 20 feet away from him, so you have enough movement if you want. Are you guys gonna be okay? I think so. All right, I'm gonna run up to the caster dude. And be All like, right. I'd like to sacrifice my hammer and swing my hammer at his face. Can I roll for attack? Yeah, go for it. Does nine hit his AC? It does not. Um, All right. As you swing down, he somehow blocks your giant hammer with that staff of his, and he's laughing at you. Do his laugh, Eric. <laughs> you <Eric>. fools! <laughs> I was just warming up. My By the way, this still... is this is the very this is like probably the most like flamboyant exuberant. Like orc you've ever met in your entire life. They're usually very like rawr, rawr. this one's like He's pretty, oh. He's pretty sassy. He's a sassy bitch. Alright, so oh. you all set Ludo? It's like the, the technician yeah. from Gurren Logan. Yeah, he's he's the Leron. Alright, so Groden, mm -hmm. you're up. <laughs> Alright. Uh, who do I want to attack? The zombies are really far away now. Yeah, but they're going to keep coming. Zombies are 20 feet away? Yep. And the guy is another... 20 feet. In the opposite direction. In the opposite direction. So you guys are a nice little sandwich. Alright. Um, Wait, I have a question. Sure. Is the um, Wiggly Finger Man... So he's like up on something. Yeah, he's like up on like an altar. Was there a ramp that Ludo ran up? There's stairs. 
you know, we, if we all ran toward the stairs and we could funnel the zombies, yeah? Would they, like, climb up around or would they, like, just all come, like, one at a time? Yeah, sure, if you want to be, like, more in a sandwich. Remember that woman that was getting beat up that was in a sandwich between all those I know, compass? but I feel like it would be hard if we separate. We can never mind whatever you want. <laughs> I'm going to run toward the zombies with my short sword. Zombies, cool. Um, There's four of them, so we'll just say zombie one. Yep, zombie one. They cool. all got hit with eight damage, so. Um, okay, yeah. I'm going to go at number one with my short sword. Cool. Six. What? It does not hit the AC. God damn. You want to roll for dagger? Dagger. Let's give it a shot. Ten. That hits. Okay. Roll 1d4 with no modifiers. Two. Nice. You slice some flesh off. That's I not what? it. What's that? What'd I do? You just sliced a little bit of flesh off. Nothing much. 